Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, good afternoon. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I'm back with another damn podcast. Yeah! Yeah! (laughs) Anyways, I want to come on here and do an update on the whole Nicole Murphy situation. So as you guys all know, um, we talked about her the other day going on the Wendy Williams show with that fake-ass apology. And one person who was not here for her antics, who was not here for her, you know, fake ass apology, is Miss K. Michelle, honey. Y'all know K. Michelle does not bite her tongue. She says it no filter, no chaser. She basically called Nicole Murphy disgusting. And then she proceeded to drag her, honey, for the filth. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this clip of her on V103 talking about the situation. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I mean, I Did you apologize. On- I, I made a mistake. I'm woman enough to admit okay, it was a mistake. But did you ever see her one-on-one? Like, if she's watching right now, and you know she probably is, look at Rambo's camera and say something to her. Oh, Layla, darling, it was a mistake. I apologize, you know? That, that seems like such a fake apology. I can't stand women I like made a that. mistake. I Wait. had to delete my tweet yesterday, man. What did you tweet? Nicole Murphy, you're disgusting. You sat on that couch and you laughed. It ain't no moment. It's a mess. You wrong for that. You the type of women that let these men be evil. They got to have some help. And women like you are that type of help. That lady's at home, married with her kids, and you know this. You know this. It don't matter what he told you. Men lie. That's all they do. And you sat up there and embarrassed another black woman in front of the world. Who was it? Who was minding her business? Mm. And you on you now you gonna go to a talk show? You should be under rock hiding, girl. You, you had to give your apology at the end. You were still up there lying and you laughing and you do it to a lot of people. And you got a daughter, ma'am. You got a daughter mm. because I'ma tell you if your daughter come up on one of mine, it ain't gonna be that nice stuff like that. Mm. So raise your daughter because I'm sure she's dotting and bopping too. That's wrong. Well, mm. you you know she in the public eye. I mean, I can't think of uh, them images of her kissing uh, uh, Antoine Fuqua. The second one was crazy. That ain't no the mistake. The first one was like, the first one that we saw was kind of like. Maybe a peck or whatever. Maybe, but, but the, the second, second one, one there's with a his lot hand of, on her butt and reaching over, of, they like it, locked in lips. There's a lot of intimacy there. That ain't a mistake. Yeah, she went on in the interview. She said in the interview that she was basically at the hotel, that it wasn't like a meetup. She was at the hotel. She hadn't really gotten any sleep. She was tired or whatever. And basically, he wound up at the hotel. And one thing kind of led to another. And that's what it was. She did not allude to the fact that they were, like, in a long-term relationship or anything. Which I thought, like, it must have had been going on for a while when you saw them pictures. That intimate, yeah. She was lying. She was just lying. You said that she should be underneath the rock. We know she She a public She said she she stayed home for, like, two or three weeks. It wasn't enough because you got back out on the couch. And you laughed and grinned about it. You didn't have any. It was no sense. Why do you think she did that interview now? About being sorry. Cause she still won't. She still won't clout. She's, she's selling still. her products. Oh, she's promoting her products. Selling her okay. products. How convenient. So you just want her to disappear off the face of the earth? Oh, I, I don't. I don't mean it like that. But you shouldn't be up on TV right now, grinning and and laughing. It's almost helping you your behavior. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like you should. You should just kind of. You should kind of chill. Like you. You don't believe. Probably almost destroyed. You don't a believe when she says it was a frozen in time pick. So this Girl, is Anton. Bye. Honey. All right, so you guys just heard what K. Michelle had to say. So K. Michelle is not here for Nicole Murphy's foolishness and her bullshit apology to Leela Rashawn. So this entire situation is crazy, but it gets even more interesting. If you guys do not know, Love B. Scott has been keeping his damn size 11 shoe honey on the back of Nicole Murphy's neck. So what's going down is this. So initially, Nicole Murphy tried to say that she never released a statement about them being family friends. She doesn't know where that came from. And so Love B. Scott was the person who initially put out that statement. And so he released text messages between him and Nicole Murphy where she basically confirmed what he wrote on his website. 
So Love B. Scott contacts her and says, Hey, my love, this is B. Scott. Let me know if I can assist in clarifying the pictures that hit the internet today. So Nicole replies back and she says, Antoine and I are just family friends. I ran into him in Italy. We exchanged a friendly hello and that was it. So Love B replies back by saying thank you. So that's exactly what he posted on his website. But as we all know on the Wendy Williams show, Nicole was trying to play crazy and, ba and basically trying to throw Love B Scott under the bus and say that he was lying. So he brought the receipts. But now what's even more interesting, okay? And I'm going to go ahead because y'all know I love me a good flashback and y'all love them too, okay? If you guys remember when I did the initial story about uh, Nicole Murphy and the whole Lisa Ray situation, and I said in there that they had to have wanted to get caught because they're too high profile to be out there kissing in public, knowing that they can be filmed at any moment. Could somebody please make it make sense? And it wasn't just me, okay? Let me go ahead and, you know, spread the glory amongst my tea sippers. Because, you know, us tea sippers here, we're critical thinkers. We use common sense. We don't run off of bullshit emotions, okay? A lot of my tea sippers were in the comment section of that video making comments like this. Are we sure Nicole didn't call the paparazzi? It looks like she posed for the pics. If you go onto that video, there's all types of comments saying the same thing that I was saying in the flashback. So other people were seeing what I was seeing as well. And, you know, getting caught kissing by the photographers, it's almost like they wanted to be caught because you know they're both high profile, especially Nicole Murphy. They could have been in the house and then nobody would be none the wiser. It's not like somebody was taking pictures of them, you know, like through some curtains. They were like right there in the open. Well, now it's come out that it may have been a setup and that Antoine, a.k.a. Lord Fuqua. <laughs> mirror, mirror, show her to me. Show me the princess. believes that Nicole Murphy orchestrated the kissing scandal. As we all know, she's looking for attention. She's trying to find a new rich man ever since Michael Strahan left her and, and her name's been kind of floating around her bag because she allegedly cheated on him. So this is what is being reported by Love B. Scott. So they're saying Nicole Murphy lied on us because Eddie Murphy was livid and demanded that she apologize for the Antoine Fuqua photos. Then they go on to say, you didn't think we were done with this lying scallywag Nicole Murphy, did you? After she went on TV and lied about giving us her statement, we need to find out why her initial story did not complete a 180 and we did. Here's the tea. When the pictures of Nicole and Antoine Fuqua kissing in Italy hit the internet, Sources tell lovebscott.com that Eddie Murphy was livid. He basically told Nicole that her home wrecking ways has negatively impacted their five children and he really didn't know what to say to them. He then gave Nicole explicit instructions to fix this shit or else. He felt like Nicole's initial statement was so ridiculous, it was, and that no one would believe that she and Antoine were just family friends. Considering Nicole's lifestyle is primarily funded through Eddie's income, she had no choice but to try and clean up her mess. Less than 24 hours later, Nicole issued an apology via TMZ. Fast forward two months later, Nicole spent the past Monday with Wendy Williams and doubled down on her backtrack with lies and another half-hearted apology. Sources tell Love B. Scott that Antoine fully believes he was set up by Nicole in Italy and that she caught the paparazzis to take pictures of them. All right, so you guys just heard it from Love B. Scott himself. And so we were right, T-Sippers. We felt it in our gut that it just didn't seem right that they're outside and the paparazzi just happens to capture these two, you know, quote-unquote family friends, you know, kissing and embracing. It's like, how did they even know that they were there? Nobody's checking for Nicole Murphy like that. Ain't nobody checking for Antoine Fuqua like that. So it's very apparent to a lot of us that it looked to be a setup. And from what's being reported, it was orchestrated, Okay. So I definitely feel K. Michelle for going all the way in on her. But also, let's not let Antoine, a.k.a. Lord Fuqua, off the hook, okay? Because so many times we like to drag the woman and call her disgusting and a homewrecker and a whore. But it takes two to tango. And at the end of the day, Antoine Fuqua is the one who's married to Lila Rashawn, not Nicole. So Antoine Fuqua should be getting dragged just as much as Nicole is, okay? On top of him, you know, kissing and doing all that shit with Nicole, like we reported before, he has not one but two side babies. And at the end of the day, we can rant, we can rave, we can complain, we can drag Nicole Murphy till the cows come home. But as we all know, Lila Rashawn ain't go nowhere, bitch, okay? He done had two babies on her and she's still with him. 
So she's not going anywhere. So to me, I'm not going to put more energy into somebody's relationship than they're willing to put into it. If Lila Rashawn don't give a damn that Lord Fuqua's out here slinging that damn peen like Tic Tacs, bitch, I ain't about to lose no sleep behind this shit, okay? Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy-ass situation. Once again, concerning Nicole Murphy, how do you feel about K. Michelle getting involved and dragging her for the filth? Do you agree with K. Michelle? Or do you feel like K. Michelle needs to stay out of it? And then also, how do you feel about it coming out that, you know, that whole potential situation was orchestrated? Because think about it. She really should be embarrassed. Like, if you got caught in a scandal like that, why would you be running to go on to the Wendy Williams show looking for attention? Legend would have it till this day, T.T. would be hiding under a rock, okay? I would not be trying to be on Wendy Williams trying to showboat and gloat like everything's all good. So in a way, I feel like Nicole is loving this attention. This is the most press she's ever had in, in years, honey, okay? So I, I can see it being a setup. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, honey. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you can be first in the damn comment section. I love when y'all write first. It just, it cracks me up. To the people who get mad about people writing first, get a life, okay? Let them let them live their best life and write first, okay? I love it. I love seeing it. I love people racing to my videos. So if you want to race and write first, hit the notification bell. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Deuces.